that slobber going down my face. Oh, look at this donut, man. I sure could use a real donut right now. Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty, and I'm Scotty. And we're looking at Oxford Block, our favorite expensive Korean brand in the world. Welcome back to the elite club of the Oxford Block. If you own some of the sets and you bought them from me, congratulations, because here's a new set for you guys. So yes, break out your wallets, because you know this set is gonna be pretty expensive as usual. I know you guys are expensive, even we're selling them, and they're still expensive. We can't control the pricing, but that's Oxford Block for you. But who cares? This is really cool, check that out. This is Oxford Block Sweet Donut Shop. Dunkin' Donuts, the full shop, HS33919, 1,004 pieces. Yes, a full-fledged shop from them. Everything is covered. They got the full walls, you got the rooftop, you got everything there. Look at that. It comes with plenty of stickers, it comes with plenty of accessories. Let's just jump right in and take a look at it. Yes, it's fully flushed and tiled from the inside out. I like that a lot. I like the street here. So we have seen this plant and pot in the other sets. You've seen that before, but the pot is actually sort of like, I've only seen that in the Oxford Block set, so that's kind of cool. And they got this lamp light post here. Nice touch. And the benches. The only thing I had to complain about the set is all the seating in the inside as well. They're really close to the ground. I wish they were just slightly elevated, just a little bit. I guess you could just do your own bricks there and lift it out yourself. You got some rails here along the side. You got the nice entrance, double doors, and then you have another entrance here on the back side. Look at that. It's got the Dunkin' Donuts color theme there. I like how they did the walls there with the bricks. They didn't use like regular bricks, they used just flat plates, and you just fill them up here. Here, I'll take some off for you. If you take them all off, it will look very, very holy. I know some of you guys have fear of holes, so don't worry, I'm not gonna take it apart for you, so it won't look so holy. But this side here will look very, very, very holy. Should I just take them all? You know, it's kind of cool that if you take these off, you can get your own colors and replace it, you know, without having to take the whole wall off. I kind of like that. I like this look and this design. Oxford got that down. I think that's actually pretty cool. You got printed signs here. This is all printed. And of course, they have loads of stickers. So let's see what else we got here. We got a sign. These are stickers right here. This is the, like a mug cup that's double-sided. And it just comes just off like that. Just, you know, have your coffee. My stomach is growling just looking at this set. The donut is bugging me. I need a donut. Little tiny tile here on the side, and yes, that is a sticker again. A lot of little stickers, but they're easy to put on and actually look good on the set. I think the stickers are actually totally fine. And on the double doors, you have an open sign there that is also another sticker. I kind of put it offset a little bit. It's up to you how you want to put it straight or I give it kind of a curve there. You know, it's, up, it's your imagination again. Just do it how you like to do it. Got this pink awning on the top, very simple. Now, usually I would start from the bottom top, but we have to take the top off. So let's just look at the rooftop here. Whoa, look at the beautiful little rooftop. The donut is awesome. I like the donut. I think that's actually pretty cool. There it is. Those are stickers there, by the way. Yeah, you do have to put the stickers on. There's four of them. It doesn't cover all the tiles so it can come off like that if you can see it there it does come off you can take the pink off here there you go uh, they have it put it positioned kind of around this area but you can position it anywhere else you like and you have two air conditioning vents here and that's it the rooftop is actually very flimsy that's my only thing that you, i'm pushing it down you can kind of see it it will flex it wasn't designed to be a real heavy duty rooftop so when they pop this off modular so the cool thing is, if you wanted to make this two levels, there's plenty of room to do it. Will I do it? Probably not. I'm not that crazy. One floor is enough for me. Show you this real quick. There you go. There's the rooftop. That's what it looks like underneath. See, it's just not much security on there. It's only being held by very, very little. But hey, they have a rooftop. I'm down with that. Okay, put the rooftop here. Okay, let's look on the inside. Whoa, see that? Pretty look. Wow. Looks like they have a lot of stuff in there, and they do. But I kind of like how the ceiling is high, you know, it's not low. So let's start with the entranceway. We open the doors here. We look inside, and immediately we got the trash can here. It is a nice trash can. I think that's a trash can here on the side. It's a nice little touch. And I'm pretty sure those are condiments on the top. I could be mistaken. I'm not quite sure what that is then. And look, all tiled on the inside. I like that. It's just the chairs. Again, the chairs are too low to me. I wish they could have raised that. And the tables are cute. The tables are actually mugs with a tile on top. And we got a table. Simple. Now, this is something very different I haven't seen in any of the sets, I think. And that's just Dunkin' Donut red wall sign here. But it kind of fits well. Now, I don't know if they actually do this in the real ones. It's different. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that part. It's kind of cool. It's kind of plain. 
And that's another sticker there, Dunkin' Donuts. But I do like this other wall here. I'm pretty sure those are all donuts, right? Is it display donuts just hanging on the wall? That's the kind of thing I like. I think that was actually pretty cool. And now along the top here, you don't really see these in the other brick brands. There's spotlights shining down a single swivel bowl. Wait, what is that word again? Does Lego have those? I don't think so. I think that's why Oxford Block is a little bit different from Lego. They have their own bricks as well. So now let's look along the counter. I like how they did the counter on the sides here. It's like see-through individual tiles. It kind of has a different look. I haven't seen that look. I think that's actually pretty cool. So on the counter here, there's no cashier or anything, but there is a little tile here that's promoting their drink. Is that a is that donuts on top of a drink? That's something else. Man, this, I'm getting really hungry now. It's time to go eat after this video. So along the display here in the window, you got a bunch of donuts. Now it's funny, because the last Dunkin' Donuts, you actually had to put stickers on the donuts. These ones have no stickers, they're just tiles. So you prefer that, you don't prefer it? Let me know what you think. So along the back here, you got all the countertops. You got open drawers that can open. There's nothing inside. Plenty of cups, mugs, more drinks. Two machines, I guess one is like coffee machine or milkshake machine, whatever machine you'd like to be. And on the end there, you got like another machine blender. They're blending donuts inside. Do you blend donuts inside? I'm not sure. And of course you got three more stickers here, but these are kind of new. I haven't seen these one. They got coffee, hot sandwiches, and like a close up of the food. Look at the hot sandwiches, man. Those look like an egg McMuffin. My stomach is really going off, man. I'm so sorry I had to keep mentioning that. I am freaking hungry. Maybe I'm getting too spoiled by other sets that have so much stuff inside that I see this, I'm like, I just wish there was a little bit more just because it's the bigger size. But I still love it. I still actually think this is really, really cool. It goes really well with the other set. So let's put the rooftop back on here. And as usual, the set does come with some minifigures. They do name them. They have their names. I'm just gonna name them from the box. But here they are. Look at them. They've been here the whole time. He's been busking to the audience. And the other guy should be in the shop working. What are you doing there? Anyway, let's check them out. We've got Paul on the guitar. I like his little goatee beard, sunglass print shirt. He's actually pretty cool. They come with speaker and a little tiny microphone. Very nice touch. I like the microphone, how it has a very soft, small little piece on there. It's like rubber, but it goes well together. Very cool idea. Busking on the streets. So you got this girl, Anna, wearing the King Kong shirt. Again, we've seen these in like all their sets. You know, she's probably just buying a donut and trying to hit up on the busker. Paul. And then you got Thomas, who looks a little bit overly cheerful. Who's supposed to be working in the shop, buying us all the Dunkin' Donuts, and that is a sticker on his apron. And finally, you got Young, just another customer, and with a polka dot shirt, they look just fine. Well, you guys, that's Oxford Block Sweet Donut Shop. Mmm, I want a donut. I'm getting hungry. If you want yours, it's available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. I know it's a little bit pricey. I can't control these things, but if you can't afford it, go out and buy a donut and eat it. Until next time, you guys, Brick Me Up. Yeah, I know this kind of pointless. The Toys R Us and the other sets are actually in my home. I only have this one here to compare for you guys. But you know, the Beach Cafe kind of has that same wall design. If you haven't seen this video, watch it. It's actually pretty cool. They're, they do really great sets. I'm really sorry. I really like Oxford Block stuff. I can't help myself. I need to buy them all now. I think I'm going to collect the entire sweet collection. Can we have them here? I'm just going to open the box and keep them for myself. Mmm. Look at my hair. <gasps> I'm balding. My balding hair. Does that look good? Oh, my hair looks absolutely terrible. Just came running through the rain. I was balding already, but the rain made it wet and frizzed out even more, and I look even worse, but that's not the point. Thank you guys so much for liking this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll bring you more. I promise you. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye now.